get heated by the middle when stuff happens at the end of the game? Does it kind of feel like, okay, now it's a playoff series when everybody's getting a little nasty with each other? Um, no, it usually happens, you know, down a couple goals within the game, trying to get in guys' heads and, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're just trying to get the W and move on. Do you find, though, that stuff like what happened after the final buzzer last night can have a carryover effect into the next game? Not necessarily. No, you're not going to go out looking for fights. I get that. But just in terms of physically engaged and, and right off the bat, things like that? Um, yeah, but you don't want to... You don't want to get outside your game. You got to keep your head. You don't want to be taking stupid penalties, especially in a series this tight. You know, goals are hard to come by. So, you know, you got to you got to have that physicality, but at the same time, you got to keep your head. You, I guess, impressed is the wrong word, but the, the way you guys played against Pittsburgh, where it was kind of wide open and, and a lot of goals, and you had to come back, and now you're two of the best defensive teams from the regular season, playing that way. Is are you pleased that you guys have kind of gone back to that mentality? for the most part in this series? Yeah, you know, every series is different. Um, you know, you, you kind of coming into this one, you knew it was going to be tight checking. Um, you know, they play a very north-south game where, you know, we got to get pucks in. And, you know, it's not it's not as freewheeling as it was in that Pittsburgh series. So, you know, you got to kind of you got to kind of adjust to each game, each series. But, yeah, I think we've done a good job uh, for the most part uh, playing good defense. You talk about the opportunity now you have Game four, chance to even up the series. Yeah, you know, those are, you know, obviously a huge game. You don't want to go down 3-1. Um, so we got to come out, you know, maybe a little tired defensively. Gave up maybe too many scoring chances last game that we weren't giving up uh, in Carolina. But, um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a huge game for us. You gave, you gave up more, but you got more, too, yeah. in game three. And it's... You know, I wonder if you think that that risk reward with this particular team, now that you've gotten accustomed to this team, especially with your goalie, is a, is the type of game you might have to play. Yeah, but at the same time, still, you know, don't want to give up breakaways, two on ones. Uh, we still have to be smart defensively. Um, you know, and pushing for that offense can kind of bite you sometimes if you're, you know, jumping four guys in the rush and, you know, you don't get the opportunity, you're missing that, and they're coming back the other way. So, you know, it's a little. It's a little give and take there. You gotta be, you gotta be pushed for the offense, but you also gotta be careful in a tight series like this. What, what does it mean to have have that crowd in a game that's important like this to have the whole crowd? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, uh, you know, it brings energy to the team, the bench. Um, you know, it's just great to have. You know, last couple of years have been a little tough with the fans. It's just great to have them back in the building and get to get to feel that energy again. And what do you expect tomorrow? More of the same. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, and you also get to see some of the. The New York legends, uh, they throw up on the board. That's pretty awesome to see them there and uh, being a part of it. Do you watch Dancing Larry too? <laughs> yeah, I've been watching Dancing Larry for a long time. <laughs> you guys actually watch him? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll see him come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pump you up like you're on the <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time I saw him in the first couple of years, I was a little confused what was going on. We <laughs> just kind of get used to him. Why do you think this team plays their best when they're down in the game or down in the series? Um, it's a good question. You know, you kind of don't want to be in that situation, but to have the resolve and uh, have the ability to come back in series and games is huge. Um, it'd be nice not to be, have to do that every night, but you know, when you are down, there's no, there's no worry on the bench. You just kind of keep going. As far as kind of the, the risk reward we were talking about, do you feel like the, the right answer to that is, is closer to what, what you guys were playing like yesterday or more like game four? Um, yeah, like if, as a defenseman, I think games in one, two, I didn't think we gave up much, you know, uh, creating stuff is not really my, uh, forte. So, you know, it's, but yeah, if you're going out there and, uh, you know, hold them to, you know, just a few shots when you're out there, keep them in the perimeter, that's, you know, that's what I want to do night in, night out to them. They're a high volume shot team, 44 shots yesterday. Um, are you guys okay with allowing shots from the from the wall and from the wing and from far out, or, or do you would you rather just play and give up twenty five shots? Uh, yeah, it's it always depends on the quality. Yeah, if they're just shooting, come over the blue line and shooting, that's one thing. That's not really going to hurt you or anything. But if you're giving up forty four and they're outside, or you're giving up twenty five and they're getting seven great A's, you know it's a little it's you know it's tough to. Pick which one you want. Like you, obviously, you don't want the great A's, but you also don't want to give up 44 shots.
is there is the I mean I know Igor said last night it was it was good <clears throat> to get him into a rhythm and see a lot of shots and stuff. But is there a is there a point at which it becomes too many? Like is there a fatigue factor? Like you know over and over and over again, like stopping forty shots is gonna get a guy tired? I have no idea. I've I played goalie once. It was exhausting. So but <laughs> I, I they they seem to handle it pretty well. What about when you're you're playing defense in front of Igor and just the confidence that you get from when he's on? Like, yeah, it's awesome, you know, and even the way he moves the puck makes my job a lot easier. Just, you know, the confidence he looks like he has every save and how comfortable he looks gives everyone in front of him more confidence. And, you know, when he's on top of his game, he's awesome. Justin, did you notice anything different in Igor, like from the game he didn't finish that last game in the first series? Is there something different about him in the games since? Do you sense anything like that? No, honestly, he just comes to rink the same way every day, um, you know, and I think that's one of the biggest things when you're a young guy, to have their routine, have that mindset. If you just do the same thing, doesn't matter, good game, bad game, you just know what you have to do to be ready for that next game.